Hi everyone, Archana here. Today I am so very excited to share my very first folio and I am totally 100% inspired by Kelly, Rosa Kelly's uh, tutorial. She is Rosa Kelly scrapbooking here on YouTube as most of you know about her and her awesome tutorials and I have a link below in the description box. The one I followed, I followed 99% of her tutorials. Some things here and there I made different but it's almost like her uh, tutorial so this is the one and uh, I wanted to mention I have created this folio using the new collection by Lemon Craft called Grow With Me so I have the link in the description box below uh, where you can find all the papers in USA and uh, this is it i just can't wait to show you inside and out so this is the top you can see pretty pretty pages papers roses very pretty uh, papers are these and uh, uh, basic flowers i have used prima's uh, paper flowers and uh, some of them are other um, Wilder Kid Craft and other paper flowers and uh, this is Prima's die cut and uh, this is not at all embossed but it looks like embossed right that is the beauty of these papers so you can see it's just a piece of paper I die cut from the collection and uh, this is Scrapnik chipboards I love Scrapnik chipboards and I use everywhere whenever I get a chance this is also scrapnik chipboard uh, piece, uh, sentiment chipboards and I have used a cute little stick pin here. I got it from Hobby Lobby from their wedding section. I love these pins all the time and I have used some of these prillies here and there in a pearl color. I love these ones. It gives really cute touch, right? You can see I have used all over almost. <coughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to use their butterflies. As you all know, um, Lemon Craft uh, has those butter butterflies A4 sheets where you can see uh, matching butterflies in different shapes and different sizes and so many tons of on the one paper and I always die cut them. I have them around here but I forgot to stick. I wanted to stick a couple of them here and there. But I'll do that later and uh, I will open my folio. And I have used magnet here as Kelly mentioned uh, she initially used velcro and I agree with her uh, if you put velcro on this page it's this page is almost waste and it looks ugly when you are putting all your uh, hard work on all the decoration part and making this folio velcro will not give the justice to your uh, work so I am also suggesting use the magnet so I have used a couple of magnet here and here and here so it's nicely closed and I have kept this page as it is I'm not going to use any photo or anything or I might use a couple of small wallet size uh, pictures here so if I close that those will be hidden and I still want this border and uh, I don't want to ruin any picking through um, uh, your pictures from here so i'm i hope you know what i mean and uh, it opens like that and like this so uh, as you see this uh, right side is all blank you can use any papers or you can even create a small pocket or anything but i wanted to keep this as it is since i wanted to show all the beautiful pages and graphics and all that i I didn't want to cover so I kept it like that but I can still stick one picture small picture here in circle or any other shape and then we will open the middle part so this one is also I kept it as it is so I'm showcasing all these prettiness all the papers and all so I will just show you closely aren't those awesome roses i like these like fluffy roses and uh, cute delicate hydrangeas you can see all the scripted papers here and the lace border graphic 
right here and uh, it opens like this like that and uh, I have created a pocket here and uh, here you can put nice size picture and uh, these uh, photo corners I have punched out so you can easily insert your pictures through here so, um, and uh, you can even keep all these uh, leftover goodies and journaling spots which are from the same collection you can see awesome and uh, here I have used uh, that uh, half part of this um, Prima die cut right here and uh, you can open it like that and uh, Kelly created really beautiful pocket here but I am just lazy <laughs> to create uh, uh, all the details so I kept it uh, clean and uh, it's a really good size for the pictures I forgot to uh, cut those corners photo corners here <coughs> it opens like that and uh, I have again created a photo place for pictures here and uh, then it opens again like this and you can see this page is empty I wish I could just turn this page like that and keep this design on this corner and I can create the corner pocket here but I realized after <laughs> Uh, I'm done with the album but it's okay I will still stick pictures here and again this page is open you can see all the prettiness here all the graphic you can see so pretty right and then okay, I'll just skip it out and then on the middle you are getting these two flaps it's very easy to create thanks Kelly for showing each and every detail and with all the measurements they are very easy to follow and uh, I have created waterfall and thanks again for the waterfall tutorial I tried making waterfall before but I never ever get successful in that procedure so I'm so glad still I made little bit mistakes but they are not mistakes uh, for the waterfall procedure these are just the uh, papers I cut in a wrong size that's it and uh, here is another magnetic closure and uh, you can see all the pretty pages and backside also you can uh, uh, make the picture spots and there are one two three four four uh, pages and the backside also and she showed how to create a belly band so that is another plus point you will not lose any space so that is the belly band here and i really like it i i'm just so in love with this folio and uh, you know making folio is one kind of addiction for me right now means whenever i get time i just trying to cut my pages and <laughs> score them and keep it aside so it's that crazy <laughs> I'm sure if you haven't made your folio yet, you should make one and you will see the beauty of the um, that creation process. It's, it's really amazing. And it closed like that and like this. And there is another uh, magnet here and up there, uh, back here. So it nicely closed with the magnet. And then we'll move on our left side here. Again, I kept it uh, like the open page but uh, I'm thinking to create a pocket or another waterfall which uh, Kelly already created another waterfall here since I have two waterfalls here I don't want to make another one uh, otherwise it will be bulky so it opens like this and you can see beautiful pages here and uh, on on the left side there is an opening page like that and there is a corner pocket like this so Kelly created a really beautiful uh, pocket hidden pocket here or tag pocket here using black envelope that is really awesome idea I didn't have that envelope handy but I wanted to finish this folio so I just uh, used her corner pocket idea here instead of the other page um, so it's really 
cute idea and uh, sub another big page for your pictures and then in the middle of this section there is another magnetic closure and uh, six pages waterfall cute cute uh, uh, size actually um, you can use your uh, kids pictures like small pictures or uh, those uh, selfie picture like small ones right so it's not that small you can easily fit pictures here uh, and uh, there are plenty of space and another belly band here right there like that so i have kept some of the journaling things from the collection so it goes perfectly in here you can close it like that then you will close this one and then close this one and this one oh my goodness within this small cute seven by five or seven by six size thing so many is going on right so much going on in there like uh, so many things uh, lots of pages and uh, pockets and all the pretty stuff right so i am so in love with this folio and i hope you like this folio and please comment thumbs up and uh, please check out uh, kelly's channel if you haven't yet and uh, thanks again kelly bye everybody bye for now